88 yards. It will release this one. Oh. How close was that to going in? It's a dribbler, this one, just inside left. Start from last week's winner, Victor Perez. Good crowds out there again, Jamie. Yeah, they are following this leading group. It's a long way back to this pin. 217. It's only 172 the front, though, so it'd be a six iron slightly down the breeze. It's a good one. Can't risk five. Oh, yes, the zinc. He has! Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think that was a good one, Jamie. It's better than that. What a shot from Victor Perez. And what, Unbelievable. What a start to the third round. Crazy the game of golf, isn't it? Should have hit the six, Lutz. Shouldn't he? Just yeah, hit the right. six. Keep yep. hitting it. You're right. Now Perez. Putting along this ridge, it will go right to left. Around this quite steep bank. Once it gets on top, it'll be quite straight. There's a lot of break on this uphill. middle of the puff, oh. you can hear that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the whole one, as you said, was the sixth one of the season. And Perez's first ever, not ever, but yeah. first ever on the on the tour. Five feet, three inches closer, down the green. He's got to have a good speed read of Jordan Smith, that's the important thing. If it was last week's playoff, I'd have given him this one. If you haven't seen that, it's worth going and trying to find it wherever. Uh, it's about the same distance past as Smith is short, but in the playoff for the Dutch Open, he holds 100 feet of putts to stay alive, and then, well, anyway, it, it was incredible. Okay, it's that familiar three-shot routine where he tries to Get himself absolutely settled and square. Oh, it's all good for Victor Perez. Six shots, the difference between he and Jordan Smith today alone. It's not a fade draw, it's a slight draw, this one. It's not right, it's keeping your balance on these paths. You can't really get a much purchase with your feet. I mean, it's kind of still, this is taking a little bit more club. Six iron and clip it. That's a fine shot. Thirty feet or so for Perez for the birdie double breaker. Right to left and come back the other way. The grain is down towards the water at the hole. Quick one. Oh. What a fabulous effort. I'm not sure through the six that you're popping a four on the scorecard. You breathe a sigh of relief. Great shot, dude. 
they're very calm as a as a caddy player relationship Perez Perez for his two 28 feet they say that is 29 feet uh, it'll be a par though They used to take, I don't know whether, I don't think they still do it. They used to take your scores every, after, when you were playing after every three holes. There was a scorer behind the green. It's easy to get this snake. It's so heavy there. Very unlucky for Perez. top there you go just squaring himself up worked last week oh, there's another one. nice start to the front line with a birdie full of that with a hole in one if you just joined us that was quite a nice start three under through two and a birdie there 31 so three under for that nine and uh, moves to minus seven now three ahead Right to left here for Perez. Chances, it gathers this pin, both sides. Again, that familiar, lovely sound off the butterhead. And as Jamie said, it suits the eye right to left. Most players seem to prefer right to left to left to right, but that was beautifully judged for pace. and. Another very difficult hole negotiated pretty simply by a man who is on hot form. That's metres. It's 161 yards this hole today, the 14th down this slope for Perez. Must go along and use the backstop. Well done. Yeah, he judged it very well. Perez, left to right down the slope here at the far three. Safe par, that'll be. Going along nicely, no two under today. Perez to try and join the lead. We haven't seen too many of length hold on the 16th this week. No, no, I haven't. But they look good, though. I mean, the services look yeah. fantastic. Perez, same yardage as 14, but he won't be in wage here. 17. Bailed out there. Nice swing. Yeah, perfect. Pretty good, eh? Where are they aiming to that pin today, Paul? Halfway between where his ball currently is and the flag. I mean, you give it, I think you give it 10 feet, 12 feet right. Right to left to here for Perez for the birdie. You take two putts. Quite a bit of break here from the right hand side. That would have looked good on the way. Still is a lovely putt. It's hard to tell who's going to be leading at the end of the day now. Just one left to play for our final group. Brun in trouble ahead. Lefter that you were talking about, Paul, coming back. So can he 
bookend his day after the fast start with a par to finish to post five under par. <laughs> Big there from Perez. Start that car. Make him feel better. Well, after, it? Uh, the late drop shots. Victor, let's start with the obvious question, the highlight of your round, the hole in one at the second. Just describe it from your point of view for us. Uh, yeah, great, perfect six iron for me. A little draw against the left to right breeze. Um, I actually didn't even see it. I just kind of just birdied the first. I was just trying to hit a good shot. We didn't really think I could like maybe get on top. I was just trying to like maybe bounce it up, uh, which it ended up doing. Um, but yeah, I didn't see it then just heard the people clapping. So it was a great bonus. Out in three under, back in two over. Just summarize your day's play for us. Yeah, just very difficult conditions again. I thought the, the course played really difficult. Um, it's just the wind doesn't quite settle. So I felt like the ball was going quite far today. Um, so there's already that to adjust. And then the, the wind was just not um, as obvious as, as I would have liked. Or I think everybody would have liked in a sense. So you're always kind of guessing a little bit. Is it north? Is it east? Is it northeast? And I, so it's, it, it became difficult to get the, the distance control right. I felt like I hit a fair amount of good shots that didn't really end up in high. So then you're far, the chipping around the greens got really sticky today for some reason. Um, didn't really get particularly good lies as well. I felt like Thursday I got really good lies, so it feels easy, and today not as much. Um, but yeah, very difficult round. I, I was anything under par I was delighted with. Where is your confidence level right now? Yeah, quite high, I'd say. I mean, I obviously just won last week in a great position this week. Um, just a matter of kind of pushing it aside and focusing on the task at hand, which is often the most difficult because, you know, you get dragged into... You know, all sorts of thoughts that we all have at different times, whether we're playing good or bad. I think our mind is going to be like, oh, it'd be great to do this. And then when we're playing poorly, we're like, I hope this doesn't happen. So just about, um, you know, putting it aside and try to focus on each shot as best as we can and, and see where it goes. How valuable to have had such recent experience of contention and the heat of battle in that you won last week? Yeah, I think that's massive. I, I, I'd say um, last Sunday, um, I was just really nervous. I hadn't been in that situation in like with the lead. Going into Sunday, I've, I've had some good results, but there were more backdoor top 10s where, you know, you kind of go up uh, middle of the pack on Sunday, you shoot 66 and it's like, oh, great, finish eighth. But, you know, you, you, you kind of see people falling behind you as the day happens. Um, so, yeah, very happy with the experience from last week that I can draw on and I kind of know what I need to do. There's a matter of just execution and doing it. There are some wonderful names on this European Open trophy. What would it mean to add yours? Yeah, it'd be fantastic. I think those are, you know, we're getting into the summer in Europe and iconic venues one after the other, whether it's, you know, the KLM last week, this, and then going into obviously the Irish Open with all the names on it, the Scottish Open, I, I mean, obviously the Open, but it, yeah. So yeah, it'd be fantastic. It's a, it's a great event. I think the course sets up really well for what's upcoming for the guys that are qualifying for the US Open in a sense. So it's, uh, it's great prep and uh, I look forward to tomorrow. I appreciate your time as always. Thanks. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.